Good day everyone. Let us explore Collis limbs with some key features embedded in the Collis limbs. Collis limbs is a multi-site facilitated web-based application. To access the Collis limbs, we would open the web link provided by the administrator in the web browser. This opens the login page. Login page allows user to log in with the specific credentials provided. Login page also provides option to choose the site as Collis Limbs is a multi-site environment, the role as multiple roles can be associated with the user and the login type as internal or ADS authentication. Once logged in, in Collis, user can access the alerts to quickly review the pending activities for the logged in user. User can access the dashboard which is configurable based on the role. Each role can have a specific elements of dashboard to view the activities happening inside the laboratory. The section based workload or the sample overview, the sample turnaround, all these activities can be quickly viewed using the dashboard. Collis limbs allows definition of organizational structure which can be drilled down to labs and sections of the labs section is associated with the users so that user will have access to the specific work area and the test appropriate to their work areas the organizational structure also can be viewed in a graphical manner for a quick glance to understand the overall organizational structure in a graphical manner user management allows defining various roles available in the organization like lab analysts, lab reviewer, supervisors, lab managers. Each role then can be associated with specific screens where the work has to be conducted. Each screen controls can also be enabled or disabled for electronic signature that enables reviewing the work with input of comments and electronic signature and also allows to make sure that the audit a trail is actively captured. Audit trail module allows to capture every single activity performed in the application with user details, the timestamp, the old values, new values. Everything is audit trailed appropriately once the action is completed. All the tests performed, Test Master allows categorization of tests based on the work areas or the techniques. Tests are defined as a single master and then are associated with product. While defining the test, we make sure that the appropriate section is identified which allows to control the work access based on the section users. The methods can be associated and can be referred while working. Different SOPs can be associated and can be referred while working. Instrument categories allows you to define the instrument integration and the electronic lab notebook also can be associated to define the test data sheets for conducting and capturing the test details. While defining the parameter, we can define them as characters, numbers or predefined. We can also define complex formulas associated with the test and can be validated before they are released. Products are associated with the respective tests to be performed based on the nature of the product and the requirement of tests. Each product is defined with appropriate specification limits and reviewed and approved before it is used for registration of the samples. The limits are then validated during the result entry. While defining the specification, a product can have multiple specifications based on grade or other requirements. So multi-level specifications for each product can be defined, reviewed and approved. While defining the product specification, we associate the test needed, the limits of specification for each parameter. We can also choose the appropriate calculation for conducting the calculations based on specific requirement of the product and then the specifications are reviewed and approved. Material management allows defining all the materials, inventories, reagents, standards to be defined along with quantities, expiry dates. We can also associate the material safety data sheets, material properties for the reference and safety of the 
Each material and inventory procured then is added to the system along with the properties and the expiries. As we go with consumption of the inventories, the balance is maintained in the material inventory. We can also define the reorder level alerts so that any inventory falling down the reorder level can be immediately procured. Let us quickly walk through the sample management and sample life cycle. The first step in the sample life cycle is registration of the respective sample. PolySlims provides multiple formats for registration based on the type of registrations required. Uh, each format will have its own metadata fields to appropriately associate the sample information. Once the sample registration form is launched, you would see certain fields marked with asterisks and certain fields plain. Asterisk fields are defined as mandatory fields, a value should be provided to it. Rest of the fields can be optional, values can be provided or can be skipped. Once we select appropriate sample, the approved list of specification is displayed automatically. We could choose the respective specification to analyze the sample at this stage. Provide other pieces of information as needed for the sample properties. And then choose between the test associated with the respective sample selected. Once the tests are chosen for the sample, the sample can be pre-registered. When we say pre-registered, the sample is still not assigned with a unique identifier and can be edited. The sample information can be modified. At this stage, even we may choose to park the sample as quarantined. If the sample is yet to be received in the lab, we may also have opportunity to cancel the sample or we may proceed with the sample activities by saying accept this sample. Once the sample is accepted, then the sample will be provided with a unique identifier and the sample then will move through the predefined review and approval flow along with capturing the results. The tests are also associated with a test data sheet which can be used to capture the specific results based on the test data sheet format and then they can be presented along with the final results. Any additional information received from the sample owner or the client can be associated as an attachment to the respective sample which can be passed on to the analyst reviewer approval for verification of the information provided by the client. Then the sample will move through the result entry process where analyst will be presented with the test belonging to his own area or section. User will accept the test to perform and start doing the result entry. The result entry can be done manually or also can be done using instrument interface. Instrument interface will pull the results directly from the instrument and save in the result entry screen. Once results are captured, the results can be reviewed, uh, checked by the analyst and then <coughs> the results are saved and sent for the next review and approval process. While capturing the results, the user can also access the test data sheet and capture the results as per the test data sheet format. The test data sheet also can perform the predefined calculations when the raw data is inserted and the final results are calculated. Once the final results are calculated, the final results are then passed along to the LIMS respective uh, sample and also the sheet can be associated with the sample for any reference. Results based on the validation against the specification are always presented as pass or fail based on the values provided during the specification creation. Once the results are captured and the user is happy, he will mark it as completed. Once the test is completed, the user can then give additional information like additional tasks performed, any additional instrument attachments generated during the analytical activity, the sheet captured from the electronic lab notebook, any additional documentation, comments and then user will pass the test 
to the next level for review and approval process. Once the test is completed, then it is passed on to the reviewer and approver to review and approve the results. When we log in as reviewer, we are presented with the alerts again to see what is pending for me to review. Once we have the list of tests to be reviewed, we can select the sample, the test to be reviewed and we can have various options to take decisions on. We may recommend retest, we may recommend recalculations or if everything looks good then we may approve it. We can also say recalculation that allows the results to be corrected if there is a typo mistake. Retest will have to be conducted again from the scratch and the old and new results are then passed on back to the reviewer for review and approval. When the approval is happy with the results, he executes the electronic signature with his decision to say the results are fine and he approves the sample. Once the sample is approved, then certificate of analysis can be generated. The certificate of analysis can also be embedded with the electronic signature or the scanned signature of the user who signed the final results.